When a Liberty man died in 2007, he left two loves behind, his wife and his love of baseball. But as Michelle Nix and photojournalist Tim Dale explain, those loves have reconnected in a most unusual way, and it's a source of comfort six years after his death. This is a story of love, loss, and hope delivered in a most unusual way. Six years overdue. I just had it in my hand and, um, and started to cry. A sign that just maybe there is life after death and a true love that endures. Always. I just feel like it was his way of saying, I'm still here and I'm watching over you. Kathy and Jim Cronk shared a passion for old music and old movies. They married at the Mill Creek Park Rose Garden surrounded by family and friends. A five-year union filled with love. You didn't find one without the other. A courtship and kinship that seemed to define love. I just feel very fortunate to have had that kind of relationship that most people don't even get near in their lifetime. But for Kathy and Jim, what they shared ended far too soon. Jim died from complications in 2007, about a year after undergoing gastric bypass surgery. However, before his death, from his hospital bed, Jim occupied his time writing letters, filling out self-addressed stamped envelopes, seeking autographs from his favorite baseball players to fulfill a love only second to his wife. Jim was passionate about his hobbies uh, and um, prior to my meeting him, he had uh, always collected baseball cards. Pete Rose, he's got two of them, Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra. Autographed baseball cards that continued to find their way home even after Jim's death. But it's one that arrived most recently, six years after he mailed it, that caught his widow off guard. Her husband's handwriting, something he touched. It really threw me for a loop. I mean, I cried it just over six years later to see um, to see these cards come back. It turns out all-star MVP outfielder Dale Murphy this gave this Liberty woman a gift without ever realizing it. He, he was like, he came back home again. Interestingly, for the couple who met online, it was the written word that was a symbol of love that stood the test of time. Like a message in a bottle, a letter from a lost love has found its way home. For Kathy, it was like Jim was playing their song. It's not for just an hour, not for just a day, not but for just a year, but always. With more local news, I'm Michelle Nix.